Okay, so we will be reviewing and unboxing the Marantz Retrocast uh, USB microphone. Um, so here is the box which uh, just came with the package. Uh, it says uh, made in China. So it says the contents were the mic itself, um, an adapter, USB, and a stand. So let's open the box. Oh, all right. Um, the manual, as usual. Okay, let's throw that away. <laughs> And the mic, wow. Wow, it's like the real thing. Yeah, it's heavy. Uh, just like how it, it was advertised. I think it's really, um, it's really iron casted. Yes, and it says, um, EU address, uh, Germany yeah it looks sturdy and feels sturdy and yeah it's stylish okay so there you go it's shiny and I think there's the USB port yeah it looks um, it looks classic and the stand Okay, so how do you put it there? Um, oh, there's an adapter. Yeah, I think these are for uh, standard microphone stands. So, yeah, it fits there. Oops, I think, yeah, I think. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it looks stylish. Mm, I hope it works well. And... Okay, I think that's it. So I'll be comparing this uh, this mic to my Boya BYM1 MM1 and see how it sounds. All right, so here we go. Um, yeah, it feels sturdy. And it has a very annoying blue LED light. But overall, yeah, it looks good. You can swivel or pivot it around like this. But this LED light is really very annoying. Okay, so let's go to the sound test. Hello, hello, what's going on? I'm recording with my old microphone. Hello, hello, what's going on? I'm recording with my new microphone.
Okay, so there you go. Uh, that's Marant's um, retrocast for you. And I think the only problem with this um, microphone is it doesn't have a mute button or a volume gain button like um, the Samsung Meteor, which pretty much at the same price range with the retrocast. And it sound very good. This one um, sounded very good, in my opinion. So let me hear from you. Uh, drop a comment if you want. And that's it for today. Thank you very much.